Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study vacuum molding, which is one of the other expandable mold casting processes. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Except sand casting, there are other casting processes that have been developed to meet special needs. The difference between these methods are in the composition of the mold material, or the manner in which the mold is made, or in the way the pattern is made. Vacuum molding, it uses a sand mold held together by vacuum pressure rather than a chemical binder was developed in Japan around 1970. We are going to observe the steps of vacuum molding in the next few figures. The figure, 1, shows the first step in vacuum molding, where a thin sheet of preheated plastic is drawn over a match plate, or cope and drag metal pattern by vacuum. The pattern has small vent holes to facilitate vacuum forming. The figure, 2, shows the second step in vacuum molding, where a specially designed flask is placed over the pattern plate and filled with sand, and a sprue and pouring cup are formed in the sand. The figure, 3, shows the third step in vacuum molding, where another thin plastic sheet is placed over the flask, and vacuum is drawn, that causes the sand grains to be held together, forming a rigid mold. The figure, 4, shows the fourth step in vacuum molding, where the vacuum on the mold pattern is released to permit pattern to be stripped from the mold. The figure, 5, shows the fifth and final step in vacuum molding, where the mold is assembled with its matching half to form the cope and drag, and with vacuum maintained on both halves, pouring is accomplished. The plastic sheet quickly burns away on contacting the molten metal. After solidification, nearly all of the sand can be recovered for reuse. Advantages of vacuum molding Since no binders are used, Sand recovery is almost a perfect process. The sand does not require extensive mechanical reconditioning normally done when binders are used in the molding sand. Since no water is mixed with the sand, moisture-related defects are absent from the product. Disadvantages of vacuum molding are It is relatively slow. Not readily adaptable to mechanization. So, we have studied vacuum molding which is one of the expandable mold casting processes, other than sand casting. Thank you.